guys, my name is Ismos and welcome to Top Channel 101. And today I'm excited to review for you an update to Wiggle Bones add-on by Steve 3D. And uh, I'm really excited about this add-on. I'm going to show you why. But uh, yeah, so let's jump right into it. Uh, the download link is going to be in the description. It takes you to this GitHub page. If you try to install the add-on and it doesn't work, the full installation process at the end of the video. I just wanted to get into the add-on before I jump into that. To make this work, all you have to do is click on this icon activate it and uh, click on the amateur icon to activate that as well and i uh, have our physics enabled now if we tab into edit mode we can create a few bonds here now we just extrude this a few times and now we are ready so if i go to, to, to pause mode i can start animating the root button the, the root amateur or root bone uh, just a few things here so that's what the animation looks like if i select these bonds uh, let me just pause here I can select all of these and just turn on bones, bone tail uh, for this to be animated. And you can see now we have animation. This is what is amazing about this add-on. Say you have a bone, it's stiff right now. So maybe it's a bit tired and uh, you have overused it. You can turn <laughs> this stiffness down and uh, it will, uh, yeah. So the default timeline is about 10 seconds. So if that's how long the the bone your bones uh last then but mine is usually longer than 10 seconds so it's usually at uh, let's say it's usually something like that maybe even stronger than that like uh yeah so it's uh it's my, my timeline is always longer than uh, 10 seconds so it's always that yeah so uh but uh, if you if yours uh is uh less it can uh, you can put it at one and uh, it will always collapse uh, like that uh, to represent how if you have excitement enough excitement you can just slowly slowly bring this up until everything is uh, another feature that is very exciting if you tap out of object mode here and uh, just add maybe a Suzanne head uh, because uh, we want a head here I'm just going to rotate here and just okay yeah so I, I can select this and uh, go back to object to pause mode and uh, select you can select all the bones and uh, just give them a uh, an object collision so i can select suzanne head here and i just confirming that uh, each of these bones has got the suzanne head as a collision object uh, then now they should be able to collide uh, with the suzanne head can increase uh, the radius if you increase the radius you see uh, the collision even better so Let's increase the bounceness. Uh, that means the bone is going to bounce. So you can see whenever the, the bone co collides with this, and uh, if this, uh, this is going to be very interesting. If uh, I add a cylinder about that size, I'm working with references here. So that's, uh, I'm using myself as a reference. So that's how. <laughs> Auto smooth and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just going to select this and I hit Ctrl P with automatic weights. So, yeah, you can see that uh, this is colliding with the mesh. Yeah, you can actually see. Uh, I'm usually, actually, I'm going to, just to make sure that everything is up to scale with the reference I'm looking at, I'm just going to now it's usually good to work with scale, actual scale. So I'm tired. That's, you know, and, uh, and then more excited, very, very excited. So that's wiggle bonds. Uh, there are obviously more features and uh, let me, you could use this for a tree. And you, you also need to select these, these branches. You need to activate bone tail uh, for them to be able to overrun like that. So one other thing maybe we could do is uh, demonstrate how you could use uh, this uh, for a rope simulation. So let's say you have an armature like this, subdivide it a few times, you can go to pause mode, uh, select enable everything, hit play, you can see everything just falls down like that so yeah this could be also used as a whip and uh, maybe you could rotate this 
and uh, if you have a plane you can add it as a collision object and uh, look at that so you can they just control p automatic bonds there you have a rope and it takes you to this github page uh, but uh, let's jump in and uh, see how this works so you can go to the code here and uh, hit uh, the download zip file uh, it's a very very small uh, download so it shouldn't take that long to download and uh, after it downloads just open it up and extract it normally the way you install add-ons is you just go to edit preferences and then navigate to the zip file if you try that it won't work it's with the way he exported his add-ons if you're seeing this in the future he might have fixed it it's going to show you how to fix those errors so that it works in your blender so just extract the add-on go into the folder copy the folder after copying the folder you want to paste it in your blender scripts add-ons folder to access that folder if you are on windows you can access your add-on folder by holding down your windows key and hitting r percent temp type in percent temp percent hit enter and that should take you to their temporary folders navigate back until you find your app data and uh, then go to roaming you, sh you should find your blender foundation folder blender and then the version of blender you want to install into i want to install this in the blender 3.4 version so i'm just going to go there scripts add-ons and then you find all your add-ons there so just paste on the folder directly there you can see that is in the blender we go to main now if i open this you can see all the add-ons all the files that are necessary go to edit preferences if you type in wiggle uh, it's showing missing file here because I've already tried this several times and I've just deleted the folder that contains the Wiggle folder. So that's why I'm seeing that. So I'm just going to refresh. If you don't see anything here, it means that I, you haven't installed it correctly. So we're going to go to the folder here. So one error I think he later made is that uh, whenever you're creating add-on scripts, the, the Python file has to be has to be named underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi. And now if we refresh, it should come up here as animated wiggle now if i click on that it should activate the add-on for some reason he has the add-on inst installed in the animation tab so the wiggle add-on will only appear if you are in the animation tab and uh, first you have to tap control tab to access to go in pause mode of the amateur and then you'll be able to see the animation uh, tab here i have a few add-ons installed here so that's why it's uh, but uh, it's going to be there and uh, then the wiggle button will be there now after that you can go out of pause mode and the wiggle add-on will start to show uh, under the animation tab so now if i click away it will always be there the animation tab will be there but uh, before that it, you can't access it before doing those steps you, after doing that process you don't have to be in pause mode or have an amateur selected for the wiggle tab to be open and you can even go out of the animation tab to your layout option and you still have the animation tab uh, working i don't know why he chose to do it like that but uh, that's how it, it's working currently hopefully he can fix that and uh, make it very simple to work with if wiggle bonds excites you you probably would like to try out simply clothes as well it's a library of clothes for your characters and uh, if you're using wiggle bond it means you are into animation and uh, maybe you want to animate a character but uh, are you going to animate them naked i don't think so so try out simply cloth which is a library of clothes that uh, you can use up to dress your character and if you are <laughs> working with characters you probably need a crowd of them so crowd fashionista is an add-on that can handle crowds that can handle doing crowds for you in blender it has a ton of characters uh, that you can dress up and uh, simply generate a crowd a city full of crowds and uh, yeah they have a really amazing interface that you can use up that you can use to randomize the character the look of your characters so that no single character looks identical in your crowd so all links are going to be provided in the description if you want to check out any of these thank you